Here is an easy way to send a mind message, telepathy, to someone you love. Hi there, everyone. Robert Zink, Miracle Mentor and Alchemy Life Coach. And today we are soaring high like a big, beautiful eagle flying in the direction of your dreams and your goals. And that's what this channel is all about. Your dreams and your goals. Have you ever had the desire to send a mind message to someone you love. It's almost like mental texting. It's not as difficult as you might think. First, thoughts are vibration. Thoughts are energy. And thoughts are things. Thoughts are tangible. They're very real. And when you know a few little secrets, that we're going to share with you in this video, it's not as difficult as you might think. But I caveat with this, sending a message, a mind message to someone you love and someone who loves you back is so much easier than trying to send a mind message to a stranger or someone you don't even know. And the reason is, is our minds are being bombarded with thoughts and vibrations all day. And our minds are really designed. Our energy field is actually designed to clear out, to filter out all the unwanted noise. Think of it this way. You have a radio, right? You're listening to one frequency, 98.7, but there are numerous other frequencies around you. So our minds and our energy field know how to tune in to what's important. Now, I believe that learning how to send mind messages is it's an essential skill. It really is, especially to a high flyer and to a manifester. Think about this, someone you love, someone that you care about deeply is hurting. Perhaps they've lost something. Maybe they've lost a friend. Maybe they've lost a relative. Perhaps they've lost their job and they're going through deep depression and sadness and sorrow. You have the ability to send them positive, loving, optimistic thoughts. Imagine, you can help them even if you're not in the same location. Someone that you love, someone that you're connected to has been busy. I mean, they're just slammed with so much work to do and they're not getting back to their text messaging the way they normally would do. And so you just want to let them know that you're here, that it's okay to text you, that it's okay to take a break that it's okay to take a deep breath and communicate. Let them know that you love them, that you care about them. And if they have a moment to text you or call you back, isn't that a wonderful experience? And of course there are countless other ways that you can use telepathy and mind messaging. Now, high flyers, Understand that thoughts are not limited to your head. Thoughts are both inside your head and they're outside your head because thoughts are vibration. Thoughts are energy. So there is no limit. There are no boundaries to where your thoughts can travel to. I mean, I, I just can't think of any energy has no boundaries and you have one of the most powerful transmitters in the entire universe, your brain amplified by your heart. So in all honesty, every chakra on our body participates 
in mind to mind connection or energy field to energy field connection. But for our purposes, understanding that it's our brain, our thoughts in harmony, in a perfect marriage with our heart, our heart energy. And when you combine those two with your aura or your energy field, which connects to the infinite field of potential or the matrix, you literally have a way of reaching anybody anywhere at any time. Now, of course, if your mind is filled with a thousand things and worries and all kinds of things going through your head, you know, what am I going to eat for dinner? Do I have to pick this up? I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to make this phone call. You've got all this, all this jumble going through your mind. It's going to be difficult to send a thought and it's going to be difficult to receive a message back. So the first thing is to clear your mind of expectations. Look, when I use mind to mind communication and I've been doing it for well over 30 years, I don't expect anything. I just send out the message. That's it. And then I go about my life. I don't sit there and send out the message and go, now, why aren't they calling me back? Why aren't they texting me? You know, I just don't do that. Because once I do that, I'm also sending out a message of doubt and a message of doubt is not effective. It's not helpful in mind to mind communication. So when you send out your message, you have to do it without expectation, no expectation whatsoever. Next, you clear your mind of all the thoughts of the day all the, the, the jumbled up stuff that's going on in your life. And how do you do that? You know how, come on. It's simple. In through the nose, hold it for four seconds and out through the mouth, in through the nose and out through the mouth. I think about two to three minutes of nice, deep breathing where you're just focusing on your breath, focus on the sound of your breath. Just focusing on that sound will slow you down and put you in a wonderful state. It'll bring you into a deeper state. You'll actually start to get all the way down into that theta state, which is where you want to be. That's a pretty deep state. That's almost a dream state. I mean, you're in a dream state when you're in theta. So you're in this nice deep state. This is the place you want to be to send a mind message. Now, remember high flyers, we communicate through thought, through vibration, through energy, but we also communicate through love. Love is a powerful energy that when combined with thought gives us the kind of amplitude and modulation we need to connect with someone else that we love. And it's just, it's just how it works. It's just the best way to do it. Also, we want to connect to that infinite matrix. So the first way is very simple. Then I'm going to give you another way that's a little bit more complex, but very effective. So the first way is I calm myself down. I put myself into a meditative state. I focus on my breathing. And after two to three minutes, I'm in a nice, deep, relaxing state. And then I'm sending feelings. Yes, words are good, but feelings are better. Send feelings because feelings are, well, they're easier to receive by someone you love. So you can send a thought, but make certain that you attach a feeling to that thought as well.
Now, one of the things that I talked about earlier is releasing all expectation. There's not a one-to-one -one correlation. In other words, I don't send the thought and then get an answer. What happens is I send the thought and I may do it two or three times, and then it will penetrate the other person's energy field. And of course their energy field and brain are filtering everything out. But because I've sent it two or three times and I've attached feelings to it, I've attached love to it. I think that's the key. I've attached heart energy to it. Well, it gets through the filter and it, it, it can express itself in a number of different ways. Person can be walking down the street and go, Oh yeah, I better call Jim. There you go. Oftentimes it comes in the way of dreams. So I want to share a little story with you. Back in World War II, my father was on an aircraft carrier and my grandmother was home. And, uh, you know, no news is good news. They used to say back in World War II, she hadn't heard anything. Everything seemed to be fine. And that night she went to sleep and in her dream, she saw her father who had passed away many years earlier and her father was in a basement and my dad was up on a ladder and her father was saying over and over and over again, Jack jump. The water's filling up. The water was filling up in the basement in her dream jump. And it was filling up and my dad was at the top of the ladder. And then he screamed, Jack jump. At that moment, my grandmother woke up. She absolutely knew that my father was communicating with her. She didn't know how she didn't know what it meant but she absolutely felt the connection. She couldn't go back to sleep the rest of the night. She was shaken. Well, what was going on across the world in the battle of Leyte Gulf? My father was a gunner on a ship. The ship was being sunk and his best friend was standing down there below him. My father was just shooting frozen almost. And there had been an order to abandon ship. And this friend kept saying, Jack, you need to jump. We're going down, jump, get off the, get off the gun, get down from there. We got to jump. Isn't that amazing? She tapped into exactly what was going on. The telepathy, the mind message was so powerful because it was between two people that adored each other and loved each other completely. She didn't know it at the time. So the next day she is vacuuming and she's got the radio on and the announcer comes on and says, the Gambier Bay has been sunk. And of course she dropped to the floor crying and screaming because she now knew what the dream meant. And several weeks went by before she ever heard from him. But I used to ask my grandmother, I used to say, did you know he was alive? Because there was no news. She said, I knew he was alive. So when two people love each other and care about each other deeply, the ability to communicate on a mind to mind basis is so much easier. Science tells us that everything is connected. It's only space that gives us the illusion of separation, but we're actually connected. So now I'm going to share another method that's easy to do, but it's a little bit more effective in communicating on a one-to-one -one level, mind to mind basis. You're going to need a white candle. I like a little glass candle, one of those little votive candles and up on your screen right now, 
you have the name Sally. So that's an example. And you have the name Larry. These are two examples of how to write someone's name. Usually you'll use the middle letter twice, vertically and horizontally, placing the candle in the center. Now there's nothing magical about the candle, but you're looking at their name vertically and horizontally, vertically on a spiritual level, horizontally on a physical level. And you stare at the candle flame. As you stare at the candle flame, you begin breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. And you do that repetitively for about three minutes. And then you begin to vibrate their name. Sally, Sally, Sally or Larry or whatever their name is. Don't use Sally or Larry if their name is Fred. Okay. But vibrate their name repetitively and then close your eyes and feel that connection. Now the candle flame flickering over their name is going to send you down into a deeper state of trance so that by the time you close your eyes, you're already there and then send them the thought and make certain you attach the feeling or the emotion or the positive love energy that goes with it. There's so much we can do high flyers when love is involved in our lives. Love is the elixir of life. Thank you so much. And Hey, thank you for those love messages that you send us myself, Rachel, Julian. We absolutely love them. Thank you. Have a great day because you deserve it. Bye-bye now.